Aloha Makapohana. In this video, we're going to look at what just happened and what's going to happen in the future of Makapo in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. So welcome back to this newest video and we're going to talk about a couple things. One of the things that we're going to start with is what just happened in our most recent race in San Diego at the Iron Champs. And uh, I'm proud to report our Makapo crew came in third in our division. And uh, this was dis despite something that we're calling Armageddon. What happened to our AMA was it went sideways. And so for about the last half of the race, we were paddling with a sideways AMA and our boat was tilted to the left and it was just not the safest situation. But luckily our canoe held up and our crew fought hard. And so again, we came in third, which is a great accomplishment for our team. And so over the four races that we've competed in this past season, we came in first, we came in second, then we had a fourth, and then this past race we had a third. So uh, it's an amazing thing to say that Makapo teams are getting hardware that we're placing and we're be definitely beating other teams. And that says a lot to the hard work that we're doing and the great coaching and support that we're getting from all the Makapo Ohana. So at this point then we're transitioning to something else. But again, it, it's just an amazing thing to know that we've had so much success. But before we talk about uh, our plans for the future in the next coming months, we just want to invite everyone to our first Ohana Day of the Year on July 9th here at the NAC. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It's been a long time. And so if you and your family would like to join us, uh, you can go to makapo.org and register there. And if you can't make July 9th, our next one after that will be August 20th here at the NAC as well. Now the big plan for 2022. What we have set our goal on is taking three of our paddlers to the OC1 races in Kona at the Queen Liliuokalani Outrigger Canoe Race over Labor Day weekend. Take three of them, put them on OC1s and have them race with the big boys in their own division, but amongst the other paddlers. And so today begins our training, um, lots to do. We've got different boats to try and modify. Uh, one of our newer canoes is the Draco, and so we had to do something different. Mark had to come up with something that uses cables instead of just putting it directly on there, like our other pool can boats. And so let's see what happens today, and let's see if this works out. So we got a lot of work done today. The systems work and we're in good shape. A little bit of tweaking here and there. Um, we didn't get to go too far out, of course. Uh, we just stayed on the beach. So the next video will uh, track our progress. And until then, uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video. Aloha.